I can believe that. I can believe that. You know, and, and one thing I always uh, remind myself and remind others um, is that you can, while you can cast devils out, you can't cast the flesh out. Um, and so we as people of God, you know, we have to, for ourselves, we have to overcome the flesh. Um, and the only way to overcome the flesh is through the power of the Holy Spirit. And if a person doesn't understand the Holy Spirit that's in them or they just don't have the power of the Holy Spirit in their life, um, they'll never be able to overcome the flesh because the flesh rules over you. We understand through Scripture that the flesh is at war um, with the Spirit. It, it's contrary. It, it doesn't, they, 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 don't, they don't exist or operate within the same, you know, within the same realm. And, and they don't and they can't coexist. And so you really have to choose one over the other. And many times the flesh wins. And even in Christians, they get saved. They receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The Holy Spirit comes into their life. Um, but yet they still find themselves struggling uh, with these different sexual addictions. And like I said, it takes so many forms. It can be, you know, a, a heterosexual lust. It can be, you know, a, a boy lusting after woman, women. It could be you know, uh, uh, homosexual in nature. It could be all these different um, things that come out of that. Um, but ultimately, it comes down to, uh, for a child of God, understanding the power of the Holy Spirit and using it to set you free from those lusts of the flesh.